And remember, these guys just yesterday, 24 hours ago, they said we were not in a recession and they have access to these numbers. And so this is why I don't believe anything that they say. This is really why I don't trust them. And this is why I'm looking at a bunch of indicators and seeing the, how the market, the feel of the market here, and not necessarily trying to time the bottom, but more so looking for concrete evidence of reversal because either they're incompetent or they're just blatant liars. And I'm not sure which they are right now. Welcome back, YouTube. So just yesterday, the um, White House, the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, everyone who's saying that we're not in a recession and that it depends on like a lot of different factors and stuff like that. And then today we got the official numbers from the GDP, which is the best overall um, data uh, sample that we have for how the actual economy is doing. And we, in fact, had another negative growth uh, quarter, 0.9% uh, actually. So, and the Fed, for some reason, somehow they expected us to grow by 0.3%. And I'm not sure where they get these numbers from or how they're coming up with all this hopium, but this is what they're doing. And this has been really the tone of the, the Fed this entire time. And this is, I believe, really the reason why we've missed these inflation marks and why we've been behind the curve the entire time. But nonetheless, they are pretty much um, during their victory lap saying that, you know, everything is going to be well and that we're not in a recession, the job factor. And this is why they really drove home the fact that, you know, the job reports and stuff like that are really strong and they are pretty much overriding some of the other indicators in the market. And that's why we're technically not in a recession, even though, you know, the numbers today, we are in a recession. It's official. So um, this is what I believe is like the underlying factor behind the market rally. Um, this is like the, the Fed saying that, yes, this is going to be like a really, you know, like a paper recession and it's not going to be really strong. It, we're, we're going to be out of this thing. It's all going to be over with within the next couple of um, with, within the next couple of months. And I believe that's really like the tone that's uh, going forward here. So this is why I believe we're seeing like the, the market somewhat like rally here. And I know that overall we have the the factors here that yes the fed can come out and give this hopium to the market because we know that short-term emotions control the market so yes they can speak hopium to the market but as of right now we actually do not we still don't have any evidence of a reversal so they can u-turn in their words but the, as far as for actual evidence of a u-turn we ha we don't have any there's absolutely zero indicator that we have in fact uh u-turn so they can speak life and um uh, you know, we're hoping to the markets here and get a reaction, but we're going to really get a, a great feel over the next couple of months. We don't have another Fed meeting until September, so, but we are still going to get those CPI reports over the course of the next couple of months. That's really going to give us the, the indication of how well these data points and stuff like that, or how if the Fed hasn't finally got on track to be able to um, pr properly plan out the uh, progression of this inflation here because so far we know all we have is literally eight misses uh, quote unquote for the this year basically so i don't as of right now i, I do believe that we do have some room further to go down uh, not necessarily saying it can be a lot um, we're going to need to see those cpi numbers over the, especially next month we're going to need to see those cpi numbers that's really going to be the indicator but we're going to get two more uh, com compared to uh, us just getting one and then followed by the Fed meeting. So we're going to get two until we get that next Fed meeting in um, September. But this that's really going to give us an indicator for just how effective these rate hikes have been and ultimately how the rest of the year is going to play out. Um, if you look at the chart here uh, for the Q2, you'll see this is pretty much the indicator. We have the negative 1.6. And then obviously this most recent quarter is 0.9. And this is one. This is one of the reasons why people are saying, "Oh, it's a, um, it's going to be a weak recession, or it's just, you know, it's just we're going to be out of it in no time and stuff like that." And that actually may not be the case. We're, we're going to see, but um, that may not be the case for a number of reasons. Because even though this has been quote unquote a weak recession, people were still continuously spending, and now as we are getting these rate hikes and we're seeing the fill up um, in the inflation, that spending is going to start to slow. And remember that just last year or just earlier this year, really, they were bragging about the fact that, oh, well, uh, this is the most amount of money. The average saver in America, their account went up X amount percent and stuff like that, because obviously it was raining stimulus and stuff like that. And there's all types of programs and, you know, people weren't uh, able to get like evicted and it was food subsidies. It was um, 
PPP loans. It was just a whole bunch of things contributing to that. And now as things get more expensive and this drags on, that money is going to start to dwindle. And we'll, we're really going to get a great indicator here because we've seen the two negative quarters. We have not had one month. And this is the part that confuses me the most. We have not had one month of even just meeting expectations. We always beat expectations in the wrong way. And this is really my confusion here as to why they keep trying to pump this hopium into the market and without saying, OK, hey, look, we're, we're expecting this to go down. You know, we're expecting this to go down, but we're going to have to see uh, over the course of the next couple of months. But no, they come out and they say, hey, look, we're already planning on uh, dropping rates here. We're going to be at 0.25 before the end of the year. All is well. Uh, job market is strong. And this is what they've been saying. Remember, this is what they said when they said there was no inflation or that inflation was transitory. And remember, these guys just yesterday, 24 hours ago, they said we were not in a recession and they have access to these numbers. And so this is why I don't believe anything that they say. This is really why I don't trust them. And this is why I'm looking at a bunch of indicators and seeing the, how the market, the field of the market here, not necessarily trying to time the bottom, but more so looking for concrete evidence of reversal because either they're incompetent or they're just blatant liars. And I'm not sure which they are right now. With that being said, do I believe that these are great entries into the market. Do I believe that you should certainly be in the market right now? I do believe these are great entries. I believe these are great prices across the board. Crypto stocks, um, I, I believe these are most of the prices here, especially if you're looking to get into some of the like the blue chips and like the big five, um, big three in crypto and stuff like that. If you're looking to average down or make some entries, I believe these are incredible prices. You can't time the bottom. I don't try to time the bottom. I believe these are incredible prices, but it does not mean that just because um, the Fed is being bullish in their words again that we've actually bottomed or that this thing can't drag out a little longer because that's certainly not the case here. Now, have we got our concrete definition of what a recession is from the Fed or from the White House? We have not. I'm still waiting on that just for clarity purposes. I would like to know um, because I, I find it really intriguing that it's not a recession or if you, you can cherry pick you know, certain indicators and stuff like that. So I want some clarity on here just so that we can have something across the board to see what instruments are going to be used to measure what's a re recession or not. It certainly can't be based off of the Fed's feelings or which indicator they decide to use. If it's the job market, then say it's the job market and then that's what we'll use always. But it can't be um, a combination of indicators, you know, historically. And then when you decide to pick the job market, say, oh no, that outweighs everything else, then that's the case. So. Um, other than that, um, I believe that we are pretty much in like a kind of like a wait and see mode as far as for the market actually bottoming out. But when we have like these rallies and stuff like that, we've seen this all across the board, even with the Bitcoin rallies. We've seen this several times with uh, like, like around the $40,000 mark. It does not mean to the moon, but it just does provide like some opportunities here to kind of see if we're going to test those reversal numbers. The, revers the reversal numbers, especially for, uh, for my crypto watchers, for Bitcoin is going to be around like 28000 I'm not blinking an eye until we fill that gap up. And so that is where my... Really, just like my interest and stuff will get peaked. But as far as for now, since we are um, well below um, that reversal point, that's one of the reasons why I consider, especially crypto, um, it to be a great buys right now, especially like top three, Amazon, Microsoft, Apple. You know, despite missing earnings, um, these companies are titans in their areas. They're pretty much indexes. I don't believe that they're going to go anywhere. And I believe these are great buys. And typically, these will be some of the indicators that you'll use to um, monitor or, or at least kind of like guesstimate and say, okay, well, this is some evidence of a reversal. So that's where I stand at. Um, right now, I'm pretty much waiting and see as far as the bottoming out or um, just being more aggressive. Uh, I look forward to the next CPI numbers. And then that will kind of give me an idea for the, to see if we're going to kind of like trend toward a more neutral um, standpoint. Because we'll, we'll get another set, second set, but this next one is really going to be just the evidence to see here if the Fed is pretty much just pumping hopium into the market or if they have any actual idea what they're talking about. And if you want some free money to uh, invest into the markets, Moomoo's giving out 10 stocks up to $2,500 each. So a total possibility of $25,000 just by opening an account and depositing any amount. And of course, you can sell those stocks and buy some that you want if you don't like any of the stocks that you get. But it's essentially, you do get 10 stocks for free. And I have an affiliate link for them in the description section. So that being said, I appreciate all of you. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more, and I will see you next time. Have a good night.